Brothers and sisters in Christ, I would like to share this passage from James. It's James 1, 2 to 4, and also verse 12. And it comes from the Passion Translation. My fellow believers, when it seems as though you are facing nothing but difficulties, see it as an invaluable opportunity to experience the greatest joy that you can. For you know that when your faith is tested, it stirs up power within you to endure all things. And then, as your endurance grows even stronger, it will release perfection into every part of being until there is nothing missing and nothing lacking. And verse 12. If your faith remains strong, even while surrounded by life's difficulties, you will continue to experience untold blessings of God. True happiness comes as you pass the test of faith and receive the victorious crown of life promised to every lover of God. I love this passage because it tells us about perseverance, how we should keep going, even when times seem tough, even when it would seem endless, which it does at the moment. God says that he will be with us. He will be with us to the ends of the age. Jesus says he will never forsake us, never leave us. So when we get up in the morning, we need to remember that we are not alone. We may feel lonely. We may feel that we're without those things that we've been used to, those activities we're used to doing, those habits that we're used to having. Things are different. We've had to learn a new way of doing things, a new way of behaving. But we know we're not alone. We are tested. But we can pass the test. And we will pass the test. Our faith will get stronger. And we will have that untold blessing of God. That he says we will have. The true happiness. That comes from the test of faith. Now I believe that happiness is a human thing. But we do know that we will have peace. That peace that passes all understanding. That peace that can only come from God. So today, brothers and sisters, know that God is with you. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're experiencing, stop. Be still and know that he is God.